Hi everybody, I'm Mary Fjord and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do a dance warm-up routine together. Um, make sure that it could be not enough for a full warm-up uh, as a dancer, but I'm sure that it will be a great part of your daily routine before your dance classes. When you're ready, let's go. So we're gonna start from moving our ankles around in a circle movement and we start from the right but of course it's a um, mirror so you can start from left and just following me along um, make sure that all of your movements are soft and gentle don't rush your body into a warm-up always listen to it it will help you to understand what it means and what it maybe doesn't need at this moment and we start with outside circles and then we slowly start moving our ankle in. Always, always warm up your joints um, and muscles before any kind of activity, even if you are considering yourself as a flexible person. Because your body will thank you in the long, long years of dance. And then we slowly come into our other side. And you can see that I'm always shifting my weight a little bit outside to the foot and back to the center. But it also, if you're not feeling confident about it, you always can just, you know, stand it on your right leg and don't put any weight on your left side. Mm -hmm. This way is much easier for your working ankle. But for mine, it's not enough already. So you do something like that. Everybody is different. And then we are going into the word sort of Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more time. Like eight counts. Four and five, six, seven, eight. Then we are going into slow, demi plies, stretch up and down. Then me stretch up and down, warming up our actual tenders, tendons, and up and down. Make sure that you're not lifting your heels from the floor when we are doing a plie down. And don't rush into bending your knee joints. Try to do every movement through your muscles to the thigh, quads, and one more time, down, and up, great, shake your legs a little bit, then we're coming straight into a circle movement with our new joints, to the right side a few times, and then to the left side as well, two, three, four, five, six, Seven to the left. Even if you're a belly dancer, don't be scared of movements like that. <laughs> um, I know it because I'm from that background that uh, belly dancers are usually really afraid to do extra squats because of the growing <laughs> too much muscle, especially girls, in your thighs. But these exercises are really, really helpful to prevent any kind of knees injuries. So it's great to include this into your warm-up as well. To the left, finishing, and then just hold your knees in this position and start stretching and pushing your hips away from your, from your body from one side and then another. One side and another. And for instance, if your hamstring is not that flexible yet, your knee is not flexible, um, it's totally fine if you will not extend your knee to the final point. Just stretch as much as feels okay and remember that warm-up is just a warm-up. It's a preparation for your body, it's not an Olympics or performance. You don't have to prove anything through the warm-up. A few more times to go. Two and three and four. Now stretch both knees. Long back comes down and just release your neck 
to leave your head and spread your heels a little bit more far away from each other and now I start shifting my weight to the left and to the right to the left with both straight legs to the right it's possible if you will feel more stretching in your hamstrings or even in your knees this way it's great if you don't feel it's fine still it's still a warm-up and of course don't forget to breathe through all the chin inhale and exhale and now we are adding arms so just rub your hands and stretch your shoulders a few more times to go Releasing arms down, slow, roll up, pull your back, inhale up, exhale down through the chest, one more time, round back, hands up, and through the long back, and push the chest, we go down, and up, and down, and up, and break. We start rolling our neck to one side. Two. Feels like my hair bands will just fall off soon. <laughs> Four. Five. And six. To the left side. One. And two. And three. And four and five and six now we are bending our knees and we start rolling our shoulders backwards one two three you can add some flow into the movement up and down five six seven in front one two three four five six seven and eight now we are flowing from the right side to the left and shoulder comes backwards. Four, it's more of a movement than like contemporary dance. Six, seven, eight. And one more time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Long circle with your both arms, then eight, then. Circle with the arms. Bend. Three. And you can see that I push my chest front. And it's warming up not only for your shoulders, for your arms, but also for your chest area. Which is highly used in mostly every kind of dance style. And in, up, and in. Mm -hmm. Circles with one arm. Five. Seven, left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we crawl our back in, really push all the ribs in, placing our hands in the lower back and carefully arch backwards. And in, don't arch too much and always arch through first stretching your back fully to the ceiling. First up and just then we arch. And don't do it if it causes you any pain. Always listen to your body. And if your back is not ready to arch more yet, don't do it. Do everything carefully. And one more time. Do the back and front. Now, I'm starting from this position, coming to the fully side stretch, in, to the side, and in, to the side, and in, side, stretch this side muscles, breathe, in, side, in, side, you can even stretch to the leg too every time, mm-hmm. Both arms to the side, in, both, in, stretch them out, 
in, out, in, now full circle. Backwards, you can always hold both of your knees and then just continue circle with the other arm. And then we're coming to the left, hold, change arm, and in. And if it's too much, you always can do it just on the level you can for now. So adjust all the movement and in. Inhale up, exhale. Mm -hmm. We start hip circles this time. Uh, if you're not feel balanced, you always can hold a hand on the wall, on the chair, on everything which will help to feel this stable position on one leg. And then we are coming into an in circle, inward circle. Three, four, five, six, seven, left side. One, two, three. It's possible if you will stay maybe on not outside, not turn out foot, that it will feel more stable for you. Do it <laughs> if that's better. But if you can stay in completely first position, that's brilliant too. Four, five, six, seven, wide second position. Wide second position. Hold it, push your knees backwards, and just shift your weight from side to side a little bit. We just filmed another workout for your this one, <laughs> so I already feel sweaty um, and a little bit tired. <laughs> but it's great if you have so much power to maybe even do this workout twice if it feels good for you to warm up your body for your dancing. And now just switch each shoulder every time we twist down. Careful with your back. Four and five and six and seven and eight. And now we go a little bit higher in our demi plie. You can hold your arms in a first position or just relaxed position or on hips or up, wherever it feels great for your body. And we're just lifting our heel up and down and up and down, up, down, up, heels down, both knees stretched and down and up, down, up, play with the arms, where mop is always for fun too, up, down, remember that warm up always gives you this mood for the whole next hour of dancing so try to put some good energy into your mind and body for your your dance classes up and down up and down and just shake your legs out let's stretch the glute a little bit i always do this this way if i'm standing and full frog way if we are on the floor for example if it's difficult to balance in this position hold on to something Three and feel the stretch in the glutes. Five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And now I'm bending my one knee, pushing my other heel front. Stretching the knee and trying to feel the stretch on the knee area in hamstring area. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, change. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And shake everything. And last two by eight count. I want you to do a three, three movement with your feet, with your knees. Uh, just try to show this flow, this flow you will add into your dance classes. And you can warm up your feet, you can warm up your knees. It's a little bit from a modern dance routine. 
So let's go. And we will do next routines as well. Completely like modern dance workout maybe. Uh, let's go. One, two, play with your body. Four, five, just for fun. Seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a big inhale up. Exhale down. And inhale up. And you're ready to dance. Thank you so much for dancing through this warm up routine together with me. Let me know in comments below what do you think of it. And thank you so much, guys, for joining. See you next time.